Hi, today we want to do a very short video on how to catch bees with a net. This is the detail. So what we found is that when we've been training people on how to catch bees with nets, that a lot of times people are taking very big swings, bees are being missed. We want to show people the fine scale of catching a bee. So you have a net. What you want to do, and I'm left-handed, so you may have to change this to right-handed uh, behavior, but you want to have in your right hand the net tip against the pole and the action is always going to be a snap rather than a sweep so you want to push down with your left hand and pull up with your right at the same time and that leverage is going to give you the speed to catch the bee the other thing that you don't want to be doing is you don't want to have a large sweeping motion because once the net starts moving quickly the bee or other insects are going to pick that up almost right away and will start its escape move. You want to be within a few feet or a, you know better about a foot away from that bee before you snap it so that it has very little chance to escape and you're almost guaranteed to have it in your net. So when you're approaching a flower, like we're going to approach some flowers over here, you're going to move relatively slowly and then you're going to move your net like this. So if there's a bee on that, which there's not right now, you're going to move up to about a foot away from the flower and then when the bee is in position, actually I see a bee. When the bee is in position, you're going to snap very quickly to catch that bee. You're not sweeping from far away because it'll scare it off. So here we go. I'm going to push down with my left hand, pull up with my right. It'll be very quick motion. And I'm going to flick the net down to move that specimen into the bottom. And I So that's the basics for the thing. You want to get close and you want to make the motion more like a snake than swinging a baseball bat. Swinging a baseball bat, you're going to scare the bee off before it even gets close to the net. And what also will happen is that um, the net has a, quite a bit of resistance, air resistance, so you're not going to actually be able to move it as fast as you think you can. Okay, another thing of that I wanted to demonstrate but didn't in that last cut was that when you're approaching the flower, you don't want to approach like this face onward you want to turn to the side because otherwise if you're like this you can't move the net quickly so you have to turn to the side so that when you push down and pull up either down or up it will um, have uh, you have free motion here so here's the same thing you move up to plant move the net fairly slowly and at the last minute flick it up and down and you note that I dropped the tip of the net from the net handle as I was starting the motion. You don't want to let the tip drag because it's going to pick up brambles and uh, it'll flip over all those kinds of things. You want it like this. Okay, the second technique is basically the same, but if you have, I'm going to let this be go, um, is uh, if you have a shorter flower um, and you can't uh, really use this technique because it's too close to the ground. And remember, if it's close to the ground, your net is only going to have a small window in which to intersect with that flower. And so in this particular case, you're going to want to put the net over the top of the flower to capture the bee. But it's the same process. You move up close, and when you're about a foot or a foot and a half away, what you're going to do is slap the net over the top. But it's the opposite motion. So your right hand is going to push down, and your left hand is going to pull up. So it's that two-part uh, movement that gives you speed. So it's not like, again, swinging a bat. It's very, very fast, and what you want to do is hit it, and this is actually a poor net to demonstrate this with because it doesn't have a flexible rim, but the cheaper, more flexible nets are actually even better, is I'm going to now very quickly push down with the right, pull up with the left to have a very fast capture action. So here we go. So. Once it's down over the plant, you can lift it up and the bees will rise to the top. And at some point, when the bees are about halfway up the net, you can pull the net out and flick that bead to the bottom and catch it. So those are the basics and um, I hope that was useful.